What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rome 300. We are back again on He Smells Like Rome. Yes. My wife is with us again. <laughs> As you guys requested, she's back. And we have another sip and smell fragrance video. If you have not been a part of the sip and smell fragrance video, we just sit down, have you know, a couple of drinks. I'm drinking Kavasi, she's drinking her smell off ice. And we just converse and talk and have a good time about fragrances. And basically the, the theme of this whole idea of this fragrance video is going to be about fragrances that have a significant meaning to either us personally, our relationship, or just has some history that makes it important or uh, just something that we deem precious, or I deem precious, because most of these are my fragrances. There's literally only one fragrance in here that's hers, but she has ties to a few fragrances in here. So, we're going to get into this. We're going to let y'all know what it's about. And um, I'm, I'm kind of just, you know, bringing her in to this right now, because I had the idea, but I didn't want her to be biased and be like, oh, I didn't like that, no, I didn't like this. Okay. I wanted her to be genuine about what she thought about the fragrances. So, we're going to get to smell of it. And um, then let's start off. What, what I wanted to do is kind of start off with memories of the fragrances. So, um, I know that there's at least three fragrances here. You know that there's significant memories behind. So, I'm going to... A little wise. <laughs> no, it's, it's more than one. But we're gonna start. We're gonna start with one of mine, and then we're gonna go into some that she really hers. So for I don't remember fragrances to the T like he does. So she, she was, I, I mean, that's the whole point. The, well, it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. She was like, oh, really? Oh, oh really? Are you trying to? <laughs> I don't remember like that. I forgot about that. One. <laughs> okay, so all right, so let's start off with um, something that kind of. Is important to both of us on my side and her side. So, um, I know trying to pick up this. I <laughs> don't know me like that. <laughs> trying to act like you know who I'm not. Even. What? Okay. So, one of the fragrances is Prada Pro Om, Prada Amber Pro Om, and the significance behind that fragrance is. Oh no! I was going to think of something else. <laughs> <laughs> we getting divorced right now. I thought you was gonna pick up something else. No, but okay. So I'm no, I'm going with Prada. Okay. So what's the significance behind I Prada? Have no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a man move. <laughs> is that your first babe? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. Oh, she gonna feel so bad right now. This is. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm about to get so many brownie points right now. I'm going to be able to mess up at least four times and never bring this shit up. This is the fragrance that I wore on our wedding. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember that? That's, oh, and I'm not editing none of that. This is evidence. But, I don't know. Yes, that was a, almost 10 years ago. I know, but this is, okay, for maybe it's more... Because I'm not into smells, that's not something I'm going to remember, okay? Oh, remember you forgot to take trash out? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sit your ass down. <laughs> but yes, this is, okay, for me, this is, um, this is, on a serious note, this is significant for me because I know that I usually wear this on our anniversary or in that realm of our anniversary if we're going out or something like that. Um, another reason why this is very important to me is because um, she was nice enough to buy me the, this bottle, right? I purchased this bottle and then we went to Lang City. Remember we went to Lang City in I think it was like 2006. Oh, and it leaked and out. Yes. The oh, fragrance leaked. That's on right. All my clothes. clothes. That's right. I remember that. So I had a hundred mil bottle. In that time, the frame was like $110. That was crazy <laughs> ass amount of money for me at that point. I was like, wow. I mean, of course, I wasn't in the niche back then, but $110 on a fragrance, man. I was it's like, okay. Still, it's, you know, still quite a lot of change yeah. for some people. So, I mean, 
but I mean, in, a, in the grand scheme of things, I was just more like, um, I can't ask you this, but she bought it for me, leaked out, literally maybe about 10 mil left, and then I went and purchased like a 50 mil bottle mm -hmm. and, and refilled, refilled it. it. Yeah. And I had this ever since. So that's the significance behind that bottle. Given the fact that I'm the only one to remember this shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn shame. My yeah. bad. Wait, so if we're going to transition on to. Um, okay, so this, this fragrance is in, in our wedding. Mm -hmm. from our what is. Mm -hmm. This is. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker's Lovely. Mm -hmm. So this is important in our relationship and our history, um, because I'll let you tell the story. No, you, you can want, tell, you it. tell it. You can tell it. Okay. <laughs> so we were we weren't even engaged or anything. We we're just dating at this point. Yeah. Right. And she was like, she called me up. She was you were going to Tennessee for like a family. Yes, visit. I was going to Tennessee with my family to visit. You know, my um, my father's side of family from Tennessee. So we were headed down there on the date that oh wait 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 before you start this can we do a toast i'm sorry i already been drinking you I'm sorry, I'm, sorry. See, I'm always drinking before you do it <laughs> well, well there but uh, okay go ahead. the day that sarah jessica parker was going to be launching her fragrance at um was it lord town yes in manhattan and of course, I would have wanted to go because I am a serious Sex and the City fan. So I was like completely bummed out that I could not not only go, but you know, not even meet her at all. So what she do? I'm uh, going off to Tennessee, but of course, my lovely uh, man at the time is from Jersey City. So of course, it's a hop, skip, and a jump away from Manhattan. So don't you want to go and to see her for me? No, the hell I don't. <laughs> Okay, listen, at this point, I have maybe f three, four fragrances in my collection. It wasn't even a collection, it's just I had them because that's what we did. <laughs> so she asked me to go, and I'm trying to be, I'm like, okay, I gotta go because my girlfriend, we like new too. Yeah, it was fresh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I gotta go, I can't say no. This is her favorite person in the world. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm just gonna go there, get in line, maybe about meet 10 people in line, mm -hmm. whatever. Maybe. When I tell you, it's probably around the block. It was around the block. <laughs> there was at least two hundred people, not in the mall, but outside the mall. So right. I'm waiting. I got there at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I didn't get into the mall until one thirty. Mm -hmm. Now, this is how this that that's part of the memory. The memory really was. She said and had her security. It was so many security guards. Yeah. yeah. Do not pull out your phone to take a picture because mm -hmm. flip phones just was able to do the right. pictures at that point. Right. So not only mm, did she what? I give a fuck. I was like, listen, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the phone out. So I had my phone already out. I had. Her number ready to press the stuff, right? Uh -huh. So I get up there, and she, they're on the stage. She's giving, you know, highs and hugs to everybody, signing the bottles. Now, if you can't see, you probably can't see it. It's already worn off now, but yeah, but I have one of the bottles that we are like originally signed by her, not just like some on a shelf somewhere in the department store. No, this was signed by her. <laughs> so I get I get up there and I meet, I called her while I'm walking up there. So everybody's on the phone. <laughs> And Sarah's like, hey, how you doing? I was like, hi. I was like, listen, my girlfriend's on the phone. She loves you. She want to talk to you. She's like, okay, just don't put the phone up to my face. I said, hey. There you go. So she was yelling. She was like, hi, Anthony. Sorry you couldn't be here. It's so great to see you or meet you. I hope you love the fragrance. She almost died. I was done. I was done. KO. I'm. So that right there, brownie points, bam, yes. I'm good for the next year and a half. I don't have no problems. Any argument is over. I'm sorry. But yeah. th that right there brings us to this point of she signed the bottle. She was the only person that was able to speak to mm -hmm. Sarah Jessica Parker besides being there. Yeah. And Sarah didn't want to talk, be on the phone, or take pictures. Yeah. And she was able to do that. Yeah. So that's the significance. I will spot. never forget that. So that's why those two fragrances are very special to us. And you... You wore this on our wedding, right? I did. Yes. So I did. that. And see, I remember see that. that. <laughs> but see, <laughs> but 
But see, I remember that for from the past, so not the wedding though. <laughs> wedding? I don't remember nothing. <laughs> So let's move on. Move on. Second, okay, so we're gonna go back to them just on me. And we're gonna move a little bit faster. I just gotta y'all one of this. Okay, give me a sip off, because that's what we do. We sip in the smell. Y'all have, have a drink. Get a drink. Go get some wine. Go get a glass of some whiskey, cognac, whatever it is. And enjoy it. So we have a good time. Oh, shut up. I think, you know what? God damn it. <laughs> give me a second. Not even. I put my jazz music on in the background. What are we doing? How are we sipping smell without the jazz? Alright, so. Next up, we're gonna talk about is what I feel. You got a lot of stuff up here. Man. I'm, I'm, that's okay. I'm, I'm bring it down. So these two right here, we got Kid of Cold Reaction and Burberry Touch. Now, these are things we get to me because this is actually predates even me and her dating. This is me and my boy J Deuce, my boys um, Hershey from Jersey City. When I was in my early 20s this this staples in my rotation and when i tell you staples i mean they when i went out to the club these two were the best fragrances that you could bring buy have on and at that point 80 dollars 90 dollars for a bottle was pretty steep for a 22 21 23 year old kid you know but this one, summertime. Still one of my best figures. And I, when I tell you, this is the original bottle. Chemical reaction, pineapple, um, watermelon, citrus, best fragrance. This is the bottle that I purchased. I never purchased another bottle. This is the bottle I bought when I was 20. See, that's a side I see. 22, 22. I don't understand how we keep these things for so long and they don't like go bad or something like well, I guess because they're not supposed to the air and it's yeah, they're supposed to the air not supposed to heat yeah but also you you know how to take care of them and you don't get no the reformulation the reformulation versions is just you don't have oh, all the yeah. ingredients that are you know, strong enough to keep oh okay another one that I have is Burberry Touch Burberry Touch was the club fragrance this fragrance I, and I mentioned that in another video I'm putting up um, Burberry Touch was if I went to a club, me and my boy J. Deuce had this thing where you wore fragrance, I wore fragrances. You gonna tell me what you wearing because you're not gonna wear the same shit I'm wearing. <laughs> so if you got Burberry Touch on, I'm putting something else on. And when I tell you, Lady Magnet, every girl in the world, Burberry Touch, we got it on. They're around us. And it probably a little bit to do with the swag, but a lot to do with how we smell. And once again, this is the original bottle. I got this around when I was maybe 25, 20, 20, between 23 and 25, I purchased this fragrance. And I still got the bottle. I'm so amazed at how you remember these things. I can't remember any yesterday. Because I know where I got it from. I mean, it's in New York. I'm so like, yo, he was like, yo, Burberry Touch is like the dopest shit out there. Look, look, I'm just. You got 24 hour window. You can call me Dory. <laughs> For all I care. What I'm, not, on the deck? I'm not gonna remember nothing. <laughs> Another one uh, significant to me and and it's very quick, nothing really special, is Clive Christian number one. Clive Christian the entire line, um, the first line. It's significant because this is literally the first niche fragrance mm -hmm. I ever heard. Remember, we got the little three set, right? We, we went to Bergdorf's, and I was, this was our first uh, uh, New York trip together. I think we were. Was it? Yeah, when we did the big, it was, I think it was 2009. So you go and just one of them dates. I don't know. See, I remember shit. <laughs> Y'all better not ever say men don't remember <laughs> nothing. I remember everything. I met that girl. I met. <laughs> what you said? We were, we did what? <laughs> I thought that was Sean. <laughs> what? But no, okay, so. But I do remember you purchasing that though. Yeah, we were in Bergdorf. There's three of them in the set. And I bought this, so. And the lady psyched me up. She's like, this is the most suspicious fragrance in the world. And of course, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I got a little cheese in my pocket. I'm like, was this in, you said this is in Bergdorf's? Yeah, Bergdorf's oh, okay. Berg look completely different now. Yeah, of course. But at that time. She, she got me, so I, I purchased it. And I was, I'm glad I did, I mean, 2009. And this is a 15 year old bottle. I've had this since 2009. Come on, man. Yeah, you mean? So many options. Yeah. <laughs> um, next up, 
for both of us, what do you call this? <laughs> this, this is Pozo de Bagos, uh, Eat Mars. If you don't know, you've seen this on my uh, top 10 summer spring fragrance list. Go check it out if you haven't. But what is this? What do you call this? That is called the baby maker. <laughs> Enough said. I cannot wear this around her unless I'm trying to have some more children. So the hints are when she is not in the house. I mean, I, I wear it, but I know that I need, I need to wear it. She wants to be rare responsible. Yeah. What's that? Because it's really good. It's, it's, it's citrus and cognac. You know, citrus cognac, you can't go wrong with that. I've never even seen a citrus cognac fragrance before. But it's just one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. And when I wear it, it just is the aphrodisiac for her, which I enjoy. <laughs> I'll be, be setting up, I'll be spraying on the pillow sometimes I'll be one Go ahead and get your ass caught up. But that's what that is. Um, it's it's absolutely great fragrance. But that's the significance from me to in her early fragrance. Um, so about these uh Bodicea the Victorious. Mm -hmm. So Bodicea the Victorious is uh, it's um, important in two things. Well actually three. Namur importance two reasons. One, because this is the first Bodicea fragrance I've ever purchased. And if you don't know, this is a pretty penny. And I, 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 when I smelled it, I immediately knew I wanted to buy it. It took me a year to purchase that. I had to save up for a year you know, to purchase that. But another significant reason behind this fragrance is that I wear this on my oldest son's size birthday. So every time it's his birthday, I put that fragrance on. And this was for Sebastian. Sebastian is Blue Sapphire. Didn't even have the bottle, had a sample, purchased the sample water on his when he was Yeah, when he was born. born. Yeah, and he had it yeah. on. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's the significance behind that. Now, of course, I'll wear it at some other points, maybe once or twice that year. But the main reason I purchased these two is for those reasons. Um, so let's go to Mentally Rosa. Minty the Rosa, and this is gonna sound arrogant, I don't really give a damn. But the significance around Minty the Rosa and also a more deep palazzo from um, Juliet Mod is I am proud to say that I'm the one that put these two fragrance brands on the map in the fragrance community. No one at that point, and you can go back and check if you want to was even talking about Mentally Rosa. This is still top five best fragrance I've ever smelled in my entire life. Not just my collection, period. And this is Mentally Rosa did. No one even knew what it was. I put first impressions, I put it on box, I put a review out there. Did a couple more for other parts of her fragrance and then everybody just loved it which I do appreciate I'm pretty sure she do too because it's making her money but I, I just feel a little bit of you know brushing my shoulders off a little bit because I feel like you know what I helped a company launch their brand especially in the US same thing with Juliet Mod Juliet Mod is a luxury niche brand and when I tell you I did not expect it to blow up like it did and it just one of the best fragrances, and this fragrance in particular is my favorite fragrance in the entire world besides both C and the Victoria's material. Still, these two go back and forth. Last but not least, and this is just a new inquiry to my collection, and it just blows me away of how good this fragrance is. And the reason why this is significant to me is because I typically don't like citrus fragrances. And it's not because they don't smell good, it's just because they don't last long. And the fact that this citrus based fragrance has a, a, a citrus, uh, fruity, fresh side, and then it also has a dark side to it. It's almost like, it's gonna sound silly, like a Star Wars, like the Sith and the, and the, uh, and the Jedi kind of vibe going on. But it's just a beautiful fragrance that caught me off guard and absolutely gorgeous. And the significance behind it is that it was a gift. You know, not many fragrance companies do that. 
and I do cherish the fact that this was a gift that was given to me and I adore it because it smells absolutely amazing. What's the brand? This is Dream House The Curio. This is for Vincent and this fragrance is called Orange Sunshine. The review is coming up on that. If it's it's probably up already before this video, but it's absolutely it's fantastic fragrance. So I was gonna say this is not a fragrance. No, this is not a fragrance. This is about to say, which it does smell good. It smells like cognac. You could. What are the notes in the cognac? <laughs> But we're gonna sip this a little bit more because that's what it is. It's still a little bit of jazz music. And I just wanted to, before I finish this video, I wanted to say to you guys, um, the, the hobby of this fragrance journey has been a blast. It's been just off the hook and not in the aspect of I'm looking for more subscribers. It's just the journey of enjoying new fragrances, meeting new people. You know, also the, the perfumes behind it, getting out to talk to them, sit down. Hi right, guys, I'm not gonna ramble on too much more. Sorry about that. I had malfunction. Camera overheated. I don't remember what I was saying. I know I was doing some some you know sentimental stuff. But uh, I want to thank my lovely wife for joining me again on Sip and Smell. Thank you. Of course. Don't she look so beautiful with her stuff on it? <laughs> so much colors. What? <laughs> colors. colors. <laughs> no, but, yo, know, once again, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Us, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're going to do some more Sip and Smells. I'm going to have a couple more guests come on throughout the rest of the year. And, um, it's going to be some more exciting stuff. So thank you again. Appreciate you guys. Please hit the bell icon so you get more content. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Peace. <laughs>